Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can set up a Raspberry Pi 3 onboard Wi-Fi adapter. And this is going to be for Ubuntu 20.02 with NetPlan. So uh, I'm going to launch a PowerShell uh, using my Windows here. You can use a command prompt if you like. Uh, I just like PowerShell. Gives you a bit more power there with admin and configuration and whatnot. So anyway, so here we go. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger so that I can actually see it. All right, here we go. Uh, that should be good enough, I guess. So I'm gonna log into the Raspberry Pi using an SSH command. SSH command, and the username is Ubuntu. Can't spell E B U N T U, and followed by the IP address of the uh, Raspberry Pi. So this is a hard connection or Ethernet connection uh, IP address the default password for Ubuntu is Ubuntu so once you're in uh, let me show you LSB release minus A to just to show you that I'm actually running uh, Ubuntu 20.04 uh, right so um, I've already set up my Wi-Fi uh, connection but I'm going to show you where your net plan configuration or yaml file can be found so it is found in the cd slash etc slash net plan that's what normally there's generally there's only one file in there it's acting up on me here so that generally there's only one file in there let me size this a bit more so and this is the file uh, that you'll be editing and all the configurations are in there uh, the file name could differ my file name is called 50 cloud in it yaml right Yours could be called, I don't know, uh, 10 Cloud uh, YAML, right? So, okay, the intent is to actually edit this file now. To edit this file, you have to go in as a sudo, followed by your, uh, followed by a text editor tool. It could be Vim, could be VI, it could be, I'm using Nano, right? So, followed by the file name, hit enter. As you can see, uh, I've already configured my Wi-Fi connection here. So, the uh, hard connection or the Ethernet jack connection is defined in this section here and your Wi-Fi connection is defined in this section here. So here you go, it's got Wi-Fi's colon YLAN 0, that's the uh, onboard uh, Wi-Fi adapter, it's normally 0. DHCP 4 uh, colon SES, which means I'm asking the access point or the router to assign an IP address. If you don't want the access point or router to assign IP address, just say no, followed by uh, address and gateway after that, and the name server after that, right? And then uh, the next block would be the access point, uh, basically defining the access point. Uh, this section here in double code is your SSID double code, right? Uh, colon, don't forget that colon. And the last one will be your password. So once that setup is done, right, uh, you're going to have to save it. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to demonstrate some of the debugging tools that you can use on on your net plan. So I'm going to make some mistakes here. So on this one here, I'm going to call this, instead of access points, I'm going to mistype it and call it point, right? And I'll show you how the, uh, the net plan tool can actually pick up this error. So I'm going to press Ctrl X to save and Y to yes and enter. In uh, VI or Vim, you're going to have to use escape and follow the screen as, as they allow you to save those files. So once that's done, right, uh, the next one is to actually uh, apply and test your configuration, right? So uh, to do that, of course, you're going to have to use a sudo command as well. sudo netplan Okay, and then if you put dash dash debug, it allows you to do uh, run uh, or give you a more detailed uh, information of what's going on as it applies, right? So if you do try, it's gonna try applying uh, the uh, changes even when there's error, right? Uh, it's not very effective, I think. So generate is actually same as apply, right? Let me get back to a bit of apply here. So once you're done, and you're good and you know everything works you do apply hit enter you apply the settings to your to your system uh, to your configuration or your net plan 
what generate does is that it uh, gives you more details in case you have issues uh, from all the commands uh, it will not really apply the changes right but you will try to sort of mimic uh, apply so i did make a mistake on my yaml file there with a point missing s so if i hit generate here and hit enter you see it tells you where the error is right it tells you that the access point you have some issues with it unknown key and all that so we're gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to go back to my uh, yaml again with a sudo nano hit enter okay once you're in here you fix your error access points so that your uh, keys are correct press ctrl x and you save it and you go back to your location here now this time around if i'm gonna go and do generate uh, because everything is okay what it's gonna do is that it's gonna uh, mimic an apply statement right so I'm gonna hit enter here you can see it's uh, doing all debugging is is testing basically testing your connection uh, make sure they are all good and if there's no error uh, this is what the screen should look like so if you are all happy there's no error what you're gonna do is not generate you're gonna hit apply and when you hit apply it applies the yaml to your uh, configuration it looks exactly like uh, generate but it does a few more steps extra okay so uh, i've applied you will see uh, when it's all said and done your configuration get implemented to your to the net plan uh, system there right and it merged the configuration to the system there so once that's done right i'm going to clear my screen and if you do ip address you should see on your YLAN 0, which is an onboard uh, Wi Fi adapter, you will see IP address being assigned to it, you know, and all that. And all the good stuff. There's no more down uh, like uh, you used to see previously. Okay, um, that's the end of the video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It'll help my channel. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.